uh, the sleep deprivation is real. Welcome back to me vlogging from my bed because it is 9.30 a.m. on a Sunday and I fell asleep really late last night. But I was reporting on the French presidential elections, kind of. And yeah, it was a interesting experience. Sorry, I just needed to take a shower. Anyways, the entire presidential election process kind of, and the reporting of it, had a lot of integrated parts. Firstly, there was a live broadcast which was being shared over YouTube live. So it was basically simulating what a TV show would do, starting from 6.30 p.m. all the way till 10 p.m. we were live. So there was the front of house part, which was the presenters in front of the screen, there were analysts who were coming in and showing reports and talking about estimated rate of extensions and all of that because in the French presidential elections you can't really you know talk about who's going ahead who's being behind anything that could potentially influence voters media channels cannot post anything about the candidates about the exit polls about just the electoral process apart from like the rate of abstention potentially there was also the entire desk journalist team which was working on creating infographics creating news reports and i was a part of the social media team so we were working on the instagram the facebook and the twitter mostly i was working on the instagram at each of the 12 candidates headquarters we had reporters in uh, reporting in French and in English who were transmitting who were transmitting live to the studio and live to a broadcast and that's how everything was divided up. Don't forget to put on your sunscreen when you head out. some time to kill. Let me explain to you a little bit about what the roles exactly were. At the headquarters, we have reporters who are, just to give you a general vibe of what's happening, what the people are talking about, what the atmosphere is like. At the journalism school, which was our QJ, where we were broadcasting, where we were coordinating, where we were doing everything. Um, in the newsroom was the social media team, where we basically kept an eye on our broadcast and some other broadcasts from French media. We were basically trying to figure out what we could put up on the social media. In the TV studio, the broadcast was happening. So everyone was there trying to help the presenters make sure that all the points were covered. There were invited guest experts who were sharing their perspectives on the election. So to coordinate that, to make sure everything went smoothly, to make sure that the broadcast was working functionally, that journalists on the ground at the QJ could link in to the broadcast of the show. So that was all happening in the TV studio. The desk team, who was focusing on creating infographics, making sure that the facts that we were putting up were fact-checked. Yeah, that's basically a general gist. The presenters obviously had to prep beforehand had to make sure to tailor their broadcast to their specific, you know, emission because as the day progressed, as it got later, it was possible to talk about who actually won the first round, who's going to, what the situation is going to be like going into the second round, what are the things to be concerned about, so all of that. Okay, so it's been a long day and since it's 
I was gonna say since it's sunny and it's no longer sunny. Well, since it was sunny, I decided to come by the river bank for a bit because, you know, it's sunny. But it's not. Anyways, I was going to take this opportunity to tell you a bit more about our presidential election coverage. Safe to say, it could have gone smoother. And there was a lot of Murphy's Law playing into account. Being like, oh, what could kind of be not perfect in this situation? And it ended up being not perfect. But on the whole, I think it was a great format of experience. I got to report in my small way in the social media team on the French presidential elections. In fact, now would be a good time to bring up the fact that we are also going to be reporting on the second round because, of course, we're not just going to report on one round of the elections. Well, yeah, and I've signed up to be a TV presenter because I think that would be super cool. And I really made a big mistake trying to film this vlog on a bridge, which is full of cars. But anyways, so if you guys are interested, whoever is watching this, I am going to link the live stream YouTube link. But yeah, that's it for me. Thank you for watching and being here with me. Ciao, a bientôt. Take care of yourselves.